Hello everyone, welcome to the Rep Health family and thank you so much for being here. In today's video, I'll be going on an intermittent fasting challenge and I wanted to share it with you all and maybe you would also join me on this journey. So without wasting much time, let's get into the video. If you watched my most recent video where I talked about my weight loss journey, you would recognize that I did intermittent fasting. During the past six months, I engaged in 14 hours of fast and a 10 hour eating window. During this time, I did mostly jump ropes and I ate um, a portion controlled meal. I ate basically everything that I was eating before but it was portion controlled this time around. So growing up, I did not deal much with um, weight issues. However, after delivering my first baby, I gained a lot of weight and then I lost that because it took me quite a while to get pregnant again. However, during my second and my third pregnancy, it was a little bit close. So I gained a tremendous amount of weight, especially with after delivering my third baby. The excuse I most often gave was because I was breastfeeding and I ate and ate and ate. However, I engaged in intermittent fasting to lose the weight. So please do well to check out that video, which will be linked in the description box below for your reference. Today, I have decided to go on the 16 hours of fasting and eight hour eating window to find out if it will make a difference in my weight loss journey. During the last six months, I lost 10 kilograms on mostly 14-8 intermittent fasting and I did um, basically about 100 jumps a day and then I ensured to have about 10,000 steps each day. On some days, I did not meet my target, but I didn't let that draw me back. So in today's video, I'll be sharing with you what my current weight is now. As I previously mentioned, I have the mummy belly. <laughs> I have the mummy belly to lose and a little bit of fat here and there I'll be sharing with you. And then we'll um, be journaling the, the progress I'll be making over here on this platform. So without wasting much time, let's check my current weight now. Quickly, I'll be sharing the things that I'll be engaging in during this one week of intermittent fasting on the 16 hours of fast and eight hour eating window. So basically, I've been taking um, a lot of water lately and I'll be ensuring that I increase my intake of, of, of water. On most days, I take at least 1.5 liters of water, but then I'll try as much as possible to gradually increase it to two liters of water per day. Also, previously, I take um, a cup of coffee every single day and I like to take my coffee after my break um, whenever I break my fast I add coffee to any other meal that I'm having if it's omelets or if it's just some scrambled eggs that I'm having I always love to take it with a cup of coffee to give me that energy for the day so I'll be indulging in my morning <laughs> in my coffee and then increasing my water levels as well as taking green tea. I do not like green tea at all but then I'll try to see if I'm going to like it. For the next thing I actually started a day ago, I'll share it with you. <laughs> Yay! It's this apple cider vinegar with lemon. So I'll be taking apple cider vinegar with lemon and um, I'll be diluting it in water, a glass of water. That is what I started doing from yesterday. And this is to basically help me with digestion. And also um, the apple cider vinegar is known to also suppress the storage of fat. So I'm just taking it to boost my metabolism, to enhance digestion of the food that I eat. Generally gain some vitamin C which is rich in antioxidants and it's really good for my body. I love to go with fresh lemons but um, I also learned from my little research that you can also use organic lemon 
and organic apple cider vinegar to enhance your weight loss journey. So I'll be doing that and I'll also share my experience with you. As always with everything, it's best to consult your physician before you do that because this is not for everyone. In addition to these items, I plan to um, jump rope, at least 500 jump ropes per day and um, as usual gain my 10,000 steps each day. And this 10,000 steps includes whenever I jump rope or I do any other form of exercise. So it's not excluding it but an inclusive. So this is how my tummy is currently looking at from the front view and also the side view. Anytime I give birth, I do not. <laughs> I have a corset and I have a belly binder from my, I purchased those items before I gave birth, but then never used them. I even remember with my third child, I sent the belly binder to the hospital, but never used it. And then when I came home, I used it a bit here and there, but I wasn't so much indulged in the process of losing my tummy. Although I would like to lose weight, I'm just going on a weight loss journey that is not so dramatic. Remember in the past six months, I lost about 10 kilograms and that is for me enough. It was a gradual process, but then I saw the weight coming off. In the next six months, my target is to lose about 14 kilograms. <laughs> Yeah, so my goal weight at the moment is about 60 kilograms to get to 60 kilograms But then I'm going to take it slow and I'll ensure to engage in this intermittent fasting and other challenges here and there But then I'll not be dieting mostly. No, I would like to eat and ensure that after the weight loss journey, I am any change in my diet that not, does not lead to weight gain again. This is how my arms are currently looking like from this. Yeah, and from the back as well. So I would like to quickly round it up. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll come back on here to show you all the results of my one week intermittent fasting challenge during the 16 eight, <laughs> 16, eight um, um, 16 hours of fasting and eight hours of eating challenge. I'll be sharing it with you all. Thanks a lot for watching and please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Share with your family and friends and it's, um, we can all do it. We can do it no matter the number of kids you've had and you think that you are off um, or off the track of, of losing the baby, um, the weight gain during pregnancy. We can all do it. We can put ourselves to it. And um, I'm currently liking the, the weight that I've lost so far. But um, I have a long way to go and I'm taking it one step at a time. So thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next one. Bye!